What's good YouTube, LeVar here. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the best and most important attributes that you need to consider when you are making your center build in 2K25 because after playing about two days straight, you know what I'm saying, I played the game 24-7 since it came out, you know what I'm saying. It's a lot of attributes that have certain requirements that you might not know because people just made their builds based off of what they think they're supposed to upgrade the most. I might have made a mistake myself and not have upgraded something that I should have and I'm going to tell y'all the five most important attributes. So I'm gonna get. I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. If you feel like I taught you something, leave a like. You know what I'm saying. Leave a comment of any opinion you have. I'll read your comment. I just want to know all your opinions. You know what I'm saying. But the first attribute that I feel like is the most important one is your interior defense. Let me tell you something. If you don't have interior defense, you're barely gonna get a contest in that paint. You're barely gonna get a contest in that paint. Like you can get a block all day. Like my builds got high block. My first build I made, it got a 70 interior. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice that interior defense. I'll, I'll just make it work. I'll make it work. And I've been making it work, you know what I'm saying? And you can make it work if you know what you're doing and if you know how to play like that. You know, your skill is up there like that. <clears throat> so yeah, my interior is like a 70, but I get blocks. But if you don't get a block, majority of the time, your damn contest in that paint is not going to contest. It's going to be an open layup most of the time. I ain't going to lie. Shit, it's, 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 it's kind of crazy because it's like, damn. I put a high block thinking, okay, I'm gonna get a lot of blocks. I do get a lot of blocks, but it's those times when you don't get a block. Like I got an 84 block for silver paint controller. I get blocks, you know what I'm saying? I've only gotten one snatch block. I had a, a snatch block on day one. I ain't got none since. But when you, the interior defense is definitely important. So if you're making a new build or if you haven't made a build yet, definitely try to go for over an 80 interior defense. Okay, do not go less than 80. You go less than 80, you're, you're, you're cruised. It's over. You're not getting no contest in that paint. I'm telling you right now. The second most important attribute is your close shots. If you don't have close shot, you're not making any layups. I'm telling you, bro. Unless it's butt naked, wide open, you're not making no layups, gang. I'm telling you, I have a low close shot. It goes up to and it's in the 70s, but I haven't upgraded it yet. So like, I've upgraded everything else on my build. I'm a 94 overall. I've upgraded everything else down there except close shot, which goes up to like a 73, I think. And it, I bear, I've missed so many layups, but. I'm so good at getting rebounds that I'd be, I be lucky enough to get that shit right back. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have close shot <clears throat> and you don't go for a standard dunk. You go for a layup. Even if you think it's open, that shit's going to make you miss, bro. Like, you really got to make sure you got a decent close shot. If you're playing part, obviously, I might not be able to get that because you want to have everything else you need for part. But if you're playing right, you're playing 5v5, you definitely want to make sure you can get close shot. Okay, that is very, very important. You do not want to miss out on close shot because if you don't go for a standing dunk, you're not going to make your layups. There's people missing open layups. I don't know if y'all seen, if you haven't been watching streams or watching other people's videos, people, there's clips going around of people missing wide open layups, driving layups, and standing layups, bro. You'll be missing, you're going to miss them hoes, especially since the layup timing thing is more strict on there. I'm not sure why or how that's really, how they really go about that, but you know, the layup timing and shit, that shit makes it even harder to make layups, even if you open. So make sure you... Get a decent close shot. Don't make your builds with no ass close shot, especially if you're playing 5 on 5. If you're playing 5 on 5 as a center, you should definitely not have a low close shot. My 5v5 center is not going to have a close shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure it's decent. I'm going to make sure it's good enough to get certain badges to the point where I'm not going to miss no open layups. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the third most important attribute for a center is your pass accuracy. Do not make a center like I've seen these people make with a low pass. People are making passes, pass accuracies of 65, 70. No, bro, that's too low, bro. No, don't do that. The game has overpowered steals, okay? If you haven't noticed already, this game is very overpowered with steals. And if you're playing five on five and your pass accuracy is low, you're not gonna get a lot of passes off because these steals are crazy. Anybody can get a steal. People with a low steal rating are gonna get a steal. It's so easy to get steals in this game. You really got to be careful with your passes. They made defense really, really good in this game. Like, I'm not going to lie. Defense, when it comes to steals, is crazy. It's so crazy. I've even gotten steals that I shouldn't have gotten because most of the time, I'm delayed. If I'm delayed, most of the time, I miss time my steals. So, if I didn't get, if I got a steal, I'm like, dang, I didn't expect to get that because I timed it wrong because the shit, the game be delayed. I be delayed all the time. I don't know. I think I need a new monitor or something. I don't know what the case is. I'm always delayed. I always got a delay issue. But, pass accuracy must be high. I got it at minimum, I say minimum 75, to be honest. I played one game of Rex so far. It wasn't on my center build because I don't have a Rex center build yet. 
I, I, I used my park power forward, my six iron power forward, and I had like seven turnovers, bro, off of outlet passes that I thought were wide open. You may think that outlet is wide open. No, somebody's gonna pick it off because steals are crazy. So that's what a 75 pass. So I wouldn't care to go above 75 because I got a lot of other attributes that me personally, I wanna have high. I don't want to go 87 pass for gold break starter and then and then next thing you know people still getting the steals because steals is just too good you know what i'm saying steals is too good in the game so I'm, i mean you could try out 87 pass if you want to i wouldn't say go that high you could try it out i might try it out myself just to see how it's looking because the steals in this game is crazy like you i don't know bro you might even gotta go 90 plus pass but then again you go not you go too high of a pass you gonna definitely have a big flaw elsewhere. That's the that's the that's the thing about this game. Like you gotta pick and choose what you want to be bad at, pretty much. You gotta pick and choose what you want to be bad at, cause you can't just make an all around balanced build like last year or any other year. Every year they make this build more tougher. Every year they make this build more stricter, more restricted, less overpowered. You know what I'm saying? They they're trying to break the 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 the, the, the overpowered build. You know what I'm saying? That's that people have been doing for like the last couple of years. Well, since forever in 2K. I feel like every year that they move forward in 2K, they've made it more restricted in the builds. You know what I mean? The fourth most important attribute is perimeter defense. If you do not have any perimeter defense, you're not gonna get a contest at all on the perimeter. Like it's gonna be wide open. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, if you not have a high perimeter defense, your jump contest is going to be invisible. It's not going to mean nothing to the jump shooter. It's going to say open or wide open. Even if you jump at them, even if you think you're in their face, it's not going to it's not going to say that. They're going to be able to grain that shit right in your face because you don't have a high perimeter defense. I didn't realize nobody realized that they was going to make perimeter defense that important when it comes to contesting shots. But that's what they did this year, and we just got to adjust. So best way to adjust for that. Get some perimeter defense. Do not lack on the perimeter defense. Don't set yourself up for failure. If you're in the park and you got no perimeter defense, you're gonna be getting killed on the perimeter. You're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to contest nothing. No jumpers. You go to 5v5, you go to 5v5, you try to contest somebody. If you get switched on to somebody who's shooting, you're not gonna get a contest. It's gonna be invisible. It's gonna be wide open. And they're gonna green that hoe. Because a lot of these people is greening that hoe on this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, the fifth most important attribute I say, before I get to the fifth one. Uh, leave a like, you know what I'm saying? Leave a, leave a sub if you want to, you know what I mean? Leave a comment. You know, I read all my comments. I give you a heart and shit like that. But the fifth most important attribute, and by the way, I haven't said no attributes like rebounding, standing dunk, because those are obviously, obviously important attributes. Obviously, those are important attributes. So I'm not going to discuss the common, obvious ones. I'm going to talk about the ones that people don't really know about or they might not be aware of yet. Or they might know now and they might need to understand why it's so important. I'm not gonna talk about uh I'm not gonna talk about um like athleticism vertical uh, uh strength. Obviously strength is important. Do I need to really go into detail about why why you need to why strength is so important? Everybody knows strength matters now. Back then it didn't really matter, but it really do matter now. So the last most important attribute is block. I don't I thought I would be fine with an 84 block. I do get a lot of blocks. But there's plenty of times where I feel like, dang, I didn't get a block right there. You know what I'm saying? If I had to remake a build and, and, and then I can make it still pretty balanced as much as possible, but I could go higher block, I would do that. Like, I would try to get gold paint controller. Silver paint controller, it's cool and all. I get blocks, but God damn it, I would like to get more blocks. I feel like it's a lot of blocks I'll be missing that I should be getting. And I feel like it's because I only got silver paint controller, 84 block. 84 block, 84 block, 84 block, get the job done. But you know what I'm saying? It's what it's like. It's all about what you want to sacrifice at the end of the day. You can't go too high on everything. You can't just be equal with everything. It's just not gonna work like that. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to sacrifice something. And like, if I was to make another player, I mean, I'd probably go a lower strength. To be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I might sacrifice strength a little bit. Might go a lower strength. Go for silver brick wall instead of gold brick wall. So that way I can bump the block up to like a gold paint controller, whatever the requirement is. I think it's 93 or something like that. I would do something like that on a new build because I think, you know what I'm saying? I'll be fine. I think I, I think I'll be fine with an 83 strength. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just like when it comes to boxing out, as long as you got the badges for boxing out, box out beast and rebound chase it, as long as you got the badges and shit, you should be okay. But don't take my word on that because I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried a new build yet where I've tried that out. All my builds so far that I've been making have been having 91 strength. So 
yeah block definitely definitely i think that's a really important attribute like block definitely got to be a little higher if you want to get the blocks that you feel like you're missing that you feel like you should get because it's a lot of blocks that that happened with me and i'd be like damn bro like that's crazy but um that's pretty much it for this video this is our most five most important attributes for a center that you might not know about but now you're gonna know now leave a like if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new that you did not know, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? If you want to sub, you can. You don't got to, but I would appreciate it. We about to hit 13,000 subs, man. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the support in the streams. Pop out to the live streams. I stream on this channel every day. I'm not missing no days. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.